Hi there Sagittarius, this is Kim with your reading. This reading is going to be a monthly read for May 2023. Hope you're doing really well. Um, we're going to get into this reading. Let's pull a Celtic cross. Let's do that. Asking that your spirit team join us, your spirit guides, your angels. Um, and the point is that we get some messages that resonate with you on a high level. So messages for the month of May for Sagittarius. Any kind of messages are allowed as long as they are loving. Okay, the Hierophant in reverse. What is happening with a commitment or was a commitment? And you know, the upright, it's it's indicating some kind of like really formal commitment. Or marriage, like it's it's something that um is is in a way binding. But if it's in the reverse, it's like, <clears throat> maybe there's something switching up with contracts. There's a real love card. The Two of Cups. You're feeling the Two of Cups? And then you have the Two of Wands in reverse. Wow. Oh, you have the Ten of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. If there wasn't commitment, um, you know, or if that was like the issue or waiting for somebody to be free, like free themselves, it might be talking about that because you have Taurus energy, Taurus energy on the outcome. Ten of Pentacles is the completion to uh, wealth, prosperity, healthy connections. Um, <clears throat> King of Pentacles is all that is committed um, this person is very committed. Um, so I don't know if you're like, if this is your, if you're joining, I want to say soul group <clears throat> or what, but it kind of feels like that. Like it might be a soul group energy. Um, interesting. Interesting. There was a lack of, um, no, not lack, a loss of focus. It was a loss of focus on moving forward. It feels like getting kind of stuck in a rut. Nothing really wrong. Nothing really bad. But I would see the word like complacency is what's going to come out or what comes out. So this nine of wands, it has like an arrow pointing to this two of wands in the reverse. There's um, a message that greater awareness is coming to you um, where you are going to have or embody this greater awareness that the chariot brings. You could be traveling and the travel that I mean could be um, consciously traveling through consciousness. Um, <laughs> I don't know how else to say that. Um about how aware you are and, and different different ways of um, perceiving things and being aware of, of what you're perceiving. Okay, so Ace of Wands is at the heart of the matter and that is normally um, a passionate new beginning or new start. It doesn't have to be like passion romantic. It can be like excitement, like doing something that you love doing. It feels like for some of you, this is definitely about a job that isn't really giving back or a relationship that, you know, needs to have um, some balancing out of what one person does for the other, vice versa, maybe. <clears throat> but the, the four cups in the reverse might be indicating that you're ready to accept a cup or something different because or something new or this two of cups here can represent there's the marriage card the two of cups can represent you feeling like there's um 
something really nice and happy for you to maybe lose focus on other things and just be focused about this partnership. It feels like you that's what's going on. So as we're waiting for time to unfold, maybe for court dates to be scheduled and rescheduled, um, waiting for something to be official maybe, Hmm. You have the hangman and the future energy, so it's kind of like seeing things from a different perspective. But it is making the sacrifices that are needed um, to get what you want. And it's 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 because this is what you desire, this stability, prosperity, security, somebody that can commit to to these family connections, wealthy family connections. Um fresh new start with it feels like true love wow a leo energy uh, victorious with the uh six of swords i mean not six of swords six of wands i'm sorry six of wands is a victory that might have been a, a, Freud, a freudian slip for tarot six of swords maybe going somewhere too or somebody is so the sixes um to me in a reading it's about balancing your thoughts out. Judgment in reverse is, is I feel like it, it's for your hopes or fears place. So this, this might be um, kind of like being in the dark about something. That's kind of, I feel like that's a fear though. I don't know. I don't necessarily feel like that's all um, the truth. Mm, it's, it's funny it's it, it is neat that we're not getting any illusion cards but <clears throat> something you decided to stop giving to here in the past so it lost your focus tell me about the nine of wands tell me more about the nine of wands there's the four of so the six of swords did one come out the four of wands and the six of swords Nine of Wands in the reverse. Maybe there's this feeling of, of the, the stop trying so hard to um, make things fair. Like, became giving with no strings attached. That became, like, the motto. Practice makes perfect. You started focusing on what you wanted to go towards and um, you met your goals. Now, this can indicate a commitment from the past or or just something that did go forward that met some goals too. 1111 11 also. <clears throat> so you're really committed to something, but there's definitely um, not expecting something back. Uh, the Six of Swords, like I said, wanted to come out anyway, so this is about getting away from a difficult time and going to um, calmer waters. So why did we stop focusing? So some of you pulled away from a really long-time commitment um, and left or something like that, or someone else left. Tell me about the Two of Wands. Why did we lose focus on this? It might be more about clearing the mind so that you could gain this new, fresh perspective with the hangman and actually attract what you wanted and what would actually work for you. It's about attracting what's going to work for you and others, too. Wow. So, the Eight of Pentacles, something is working out, something uh, that works out really in your favor because you're good at it. So it might be a skill that you're just getting better and better at. Um, it was to focus on work. So if there was a big move or something like that, um, the focus just did a, it took a switch to what was um, like very uh, direly important to pay attention to at the time. So why do we have the chariot as the challenge or this travel? Um, maybe it's the speed uh, at which something is going. It feels like it needs to speed up. Like that's the message is I wish something would speed up. Maybe it is regarding making something like official. 
or signing that contract. Um, divine couple, but not just divine couple. This is the knowledge of the inner and the outer mysteries and spirit workings and life. Like it's this being a, it is the expert in this spiritual realm. And the high priestess is the expert on the inner as above, so below, as above, so below. Um, you got both. You got both. So there is a knowing <clears throat> of following your passion and doing something like that that brings in maybe more uh, than what you were <laughs> originally expecting, especially if you weren't expecting to reach a completion here. Um, for the month of May is excellent. So Pisces will just know what to do. You'll just know. You'll just have this on point intuition. Tell me about the Four of Cups in the reverse. <sighs> Cancer energy, possibly. Nine of Swords reverse, Five of Swords reverse. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay, so you're accepting something new here because quite frankly you can't be pulled into the fight you don't want to be pulled into the fight or the drama and you also know that something is um it's not your fault it's not your uh choice to help or not there's just no there's not an, even an option in something like that so the worry and and maybe even depression or worry about something being fair is like once that's kind of thrown out the window and just avoiding conflict or confrontation focusing on your work and it truly focus like the, is the uh key word because the two of wands in reverse is like taking your focus off of this and putting your focus onto that um <clears throat> i feel like it's saying not to make too many plans because uh for for this place or this stage you're at because of something that you're um moving away from I don't know. I don't know. That's just what I'm getting. There is um, a knowing here, and there is if if somebody is liking this as a love reading, then yes, there's something that's definitely gonna work out. Perhaps it is um, from work or through work. Um, but there's this feeling that you have of like harmony, peace with um, who you're having to make decisions with. Wow, and you're putting in. As much work, like you're working as hard as you can here, um, putting in all, putting in your all. Um, and yeah, this might feel like you're sacrificing a lot, but you're, what you're doing is you're carrying a lot more, maybe even than others are at this time. There's something you're okay with though, at this point. So there's going to be a completion. You're not going to have to do all of this lift heavy lifting of maybe even home duties office duties you won't have to do that consistently because it's coming to a completion which means that's that's good like i said so you wash your hands clean of this energy you still might hold resentment or anger over somebody with that judgment in the reverse <clears throat> But I, I felt it was more of a fear of being in the dark about something or feeling like you're in the dark. Maybe because you're so busy. In a, cause, so you do have to watch out for body stress and strain with the Ten of Wands. You don't, if, especially if you're relating to being physically active and kind of pushing your limits. So I want to be careful with that. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. Exhaustion. Yeah. Um, Six of Pentacles in the reverse, Queen of Wands in the reverse. Okay. This person, if it's a person, is um, maybe shy, trying to focus on balance, getting their life in balance. I think that they're moving from a, a difficult time to having to make some difficult decisions, but being open to the way that something happens or the way that they're gift is received their wish is received how their gifts are received i don't know with the queen of wands in reverse it's like kind of taking a step back and not being as 
quick about something. I'm wanting to say quick to judge about something. Um, this Queen of Wands might be procrastinating or might be going through a time where uh, the balance is so, it's so off balance or someone, one person having to do so much that it's throwing things off. I'm not so sure every, that this uh, crowning energy is an influence of choosing the right things or a history of choosing. So some of the decisions are like questionable of how they made their decisions. Tell me about the hangman. What are you sacrificing for? Or what is this um, sacrifice about? The truth. The truth, but a win, a victory, information. Maybe you're getting information, big time information about this. Maybe you feel like a new partnership is the opportunity. It's bringing in truth, clarity. It's bringing in success. The Ten of Pentacles is a completion, and then it's also that commitment. If you're wanting that commitment, it's the commitment to that. It can represent the energy that you end up getting in. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Don't miss this opportunity. I don't think that you you are going to miss it. I don't feel like that. Um, but sometimes we have to even notice that it's there. So that's... That's that. So being aware that where the opportunity is, that there's an opportunity in something that doesn't appear to have an opportunity in it. Um, that's that. Justice, everything becoming balanced, fair, bringing in truth, um, Libra energy, Taurus energy, Virgo energy. Yeah, so getting justice and um, really solid, wealthy connections is good. Tell us how we can release the judgment. It's judgment of somebody that walked away. Um, how we can release the judgment over what somebody's ninth cup would be and over somebody leaving. Well, it's it's how you can get over it is by um, moving forward and making better decisions in the future. Because this is this is doing stuff, you know, with a uh, soulmate energy. It feels like might be representing new because it's here with you, um, but it is being at a crossroads, choosing to start and and be in the relationship with the open honesty, transparency, no lying, cheating, or stealing. So that's what I've got for you. It was a really good. I think it's a really good reading for me. Um, let's pull the Oracle of Genetic Gifts for you. If you'd like a private reading, I do offer those. Check out the description box below for that information. And Sagittarius, what else do I have for you all? I feel like you'll just know, though, anyway. This is an extremely good um, reading. The Spiritual Arts Artist, Designer, Singer, Sculptor. Uh, aura Reader, Advisor, Photographer, Energy Reader. Also have Tarot Deck Creator, A Visionary. A visionary and youth director spiritual support educate lead by example or volunteer family room just maybe somebody leaving situation or something like that. I don't know we end up with a commitment here at the end so main female and a message Maybe it has to do with work or this tarot deck creator energy. Sudden wealth on the bottom. Hmm. So that's what I got for you. Uh, looks pretty good. Send you love and light. Bye-bye.